Emily Jane here with a product review. Um, I'm going to be reviewing 17 by Boots Crackle Top Coat, um, which, hooray, a crackle top coat in a budget nail varnish range, which is really great because although they have started to come out this year, they are kind of the new big thing in nail varnishes and um, they have mostly been kind of your OPIs, your nails ink, the kind of more expensive brands and um, and this one was with a much better price at, at 2 49 um, So I'm going to give it a go, apparently you just paint it over the top of an already existing colour, um, apply over coloured polish, create a crackle nail effect um, and it does recommend that you apply a clear top coat. So I've already popped on um, my colour um, and that's actually um, a Nails Ink shade, the Serpentine, which is one of my favourites. Um, it's a really lovely navy blue colour, um, which hopefully will give me a good contrast with this sort of metallic gold. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, pop it on, and see what happens. Probably go for a little bit of a speed up here. Oh, it's already cracking, as I have been doing it. That's quite exciting. So I'm just going to leave it for a second and see how much more it crackles as it dries. Okay, it's dry and it looks like this. Which is quite cool, um, but it's gone kind of stringy. It's not quite the shatter effect that I was expecting. Now, having looked this up, um, apparently this may have been something to do with, with me rather than the nail polish um, in that it can do this apparently if the polish underneath is not completely dry um, and also it can do it if you re-dip the brush into the pot as you're applying apparently you really need to do it in just one stroke um, of the nail varnish um, but that's not something that I knew until I actually geeked out and googled it and looked it up to see whether I'd actually done it properly. Um, so I'm guessing it's a, something that most people won't know. So hopefully if you've learned anything from this video, it is that. Do not re-dip your brush. And also apparently best to apply it in a really thick layer, not actually even um, wipe the edge of the brush off in the pot. So that's this for now. Um, what I might try and do is at another time, um, when I get a chance, when I next do this, I might actually try and do it properly. And um, I'll post a picture on my blog and uh, and let you know whether I've managed to master it at all. So a bit of a mixed review for this. Um, it does look quite funky. I do quite like it, but it's not quite as sort of crackled and shattered as I would expect. Um, but that might be to do with my application technique. Just a little update um, to say I've tried again with the uh, crackle finish nail polish and um, made sure that I definitely left everything to dry. And it still looks quite pretty, but it still is that kind of stringy crackle. It's broken into like stringy pieces. I don't know if you can see. So maybe it is just the the nature of the 17 polish. Um, I did try it over a different nail polish as well. I've got it over the 17 wave, the turquoise blue. Um, but I'm still quite pleased with it, still quite pretty. It's just not exactly the effect that I've seen from the um, the kind of Katy Perry for OPI um, finishes when I've looked sort of looked at that those finishes on the internet. So we shall see. I shall maybe use this as a good excuse to uh, to try and find another crackle nail polish to try.